Hey team, I'm back. I'm just going to do a quick, quick, super fast video showing another example of dividing when we have a decimal in our dividend. So let's jump right in. We're going to do 8 and 5 tenths, or 8 and a half, divided by 2 equals n. And we are just going to jump right in 8 and 5 tenths divided by 2. Right away, guys, when you have that decimal in your dividend, you don't even have to wait to get started to put that decimal in the uh, correct spot up here. It's always going to go in line. All right, team members, let's start dividing. Two can fit into eight how many times? That's going to be four. Four multiplied by two is eight. Excellent. We'll subtract. We're going to have nothing left when we subtract eight minus eight, but we're going to drop down our five, which is secretly five tenths. Eight can fit into five. How many times? Oops, sorry. Two can fit into five. How many times? We can count by twos. Two, four, six. Now we can't go above five, so it's going to be two times. Two times two is four. Subtract. Keep in mind this is secretly two tenths multiplied by two, so that is four tenths. We're going to have one tenth left. We are at this place where we know two cannot fit into one so we need to create an equivalent decimal. Just because we have a decimal already in our dividend does not mean that we won't still need to use that strategy of equivalent decimals. So we're still doing that. We're dropping down that zero. And now we can say how many times can two fit into 10 or 1 tenth? That is going to be five times. It's really five hundredths. Five hundredths multiplied by two. There we go. Five times two is 10. We will subtract and have nothing left. Da, 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 da. We can check our work by multiplying. Remember, we are just gonna go backwards. Here's our answer. And if we wanna check this, we're gonna go, this is A divided by B equals C. To check our work, we just need to go in the opposite order. C multiplied by B equals A. So that C, was 4 and 25 hundredths multiplied by B, there it is, whoop, is 2. And that should equal 8 and 5 tenths. Let's see if we have it. 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, 850. I don't think so. Let's check our factors for uh, numbers past the decimal. We don't have anything in our factor of two, but we have hundredths in our first factor here. That means we've got to have hundredths in our product. So when we put our decimal in, we get eight and fifty hundredths. We know that eight and fifty hundredths is equal to eight and five tenths. Those are equivalent decimals. So we can celebrate that we checked our work properly. Excellent job. Very nice. <laughs> Beautiful.